This European final starts out like every single women's division I've seen. Lara hits a nice ace. And, you know, Ronya's just as talented, gets in on the fun early, and you just start to think, okay, Towerful's going to run away with this. You've even got Danny falling into the no hit zone, so a bit of the yips. And, I mean, from here, it's just a matter of time for Lara to take over. Another little like setting error here by Danny. So Danny's kind of got the yips early on. She falls into the hit zone, misses a set. Just not, not looking like a championship caliber team in the ETS final. Now Megan returns the favor, shorts a set. We're up 7-2 for Ronia and Lara. There's not really a question here of what's going to happen. And look at this. Oh, just not in system. But we kind of flipped the script quickly here. Danny is going to go on a three ace run to bring things much closer. She gets Ronia once, wide right again. And not only is she getting these back to back aces, but it's also sweet to see this is three swings, three aces. First serve, first serve. Bang, another first serve past Ronia. That's a big deal because they. They just gave up those three breaks on errors with the no hit zone, the three botch sets. Danny brings it back into it, and they stay close through the mid game after being down 7 2. That is championship pedigree from Tiramisu. And so then we see Laura kind of struggle with this recovery set. So we've got facing Laura one more time here. Rips another ace. Granted, if you freeze frame it, it might be a tiny bit high, but. Play is the play is the play. There's lots of high calls that are really close nowadays. They're hard to make perfectly. And she gets Ronia again. Three more swings, three more breaks. But that error compounds here where Danny gets another break off Lara. So she's gotten six breaks here off of aces. Tiramisu is 13 points, six aces from Danny, and another break on a setting error by Lara. That's absurd. We're looking at a very different stretch in this game. very different stretch in this game another break some pressure miss set by laura short this is a 12-4 run to answer the 7-2 run opened by towerful laura's got the ball later stages of the game here 60 19 Applies some pressure, as we know she likes to do. Tries to come up clutch. And they get this break back. So trying to string a couple together, just as Danny did. And she gets a huge ace. So now we've got a one-point game. That's big time. Thing is... She doesn't get the break she needs. And then a 2018 Chimisu goes crazy here. Gets an absurd defensive touch to cap off the set. Now, this isn't the first time that, that uh, Chimisu has taken a set off of Towerful. They did it in Toulouse, but they ended up losing in three. So they need to put things together. Coming into game two here, the big story is Lara is not landing serves. Stringing together here, her first six service attempts there, all faults. She triple, she, she double faults three times. Six swings, six misses. That's not what you need when you're down a set. Keeps things close, and Danny goes right back to work. Gets another big ace. 
These herbs are fire too. It's ridiculous. Laura faults another time. So this is seven swings, seven misses now. She eventually gets this one in play. It's not like an S tier serve for her, but they do get this chance to put the ball away. Uh, really just like a miscue on Tiramisu's offense. Laura is going back to the serving line again now and double faults some more. Double faults some more, but then gets an ace. So that's the first like high pressure serve she's made in like 10 swings. And now we're jumping ahead. Danny gets some pressure. And Laura's in the no-hit zone. Really uncharacteristic error here. So she's not playing at the at the peak of her ability right now. And Jimmy Sue is taking advantage, just stringing together some more breaks. Just big time plays. Whenever you get an opportunity in sports, you always see top players take advantage. So 16-18, Towerful needs to make a play here. Laura gets a nice touch. Should bring us back within one. But it's a no-hit zone violation, and that is devastating for Towerfall's chances. Instead of having Laura with the ball 17-18, now Megan's got the ball 19-16. Like I said, you give players a, an opportunity, they take advantage. Megan shuts the door. This is big because Laura now can't serve anymore. Only Ronya can serve and answer at 2016 if they hold. So Laura needs this hold to get the ball back to Ronya. And Tiramisu does it two times in a row. They get another sick defensive touch. Towerful can't put it back, and this final ends in two sets. Uh, Going to shout out Tops. Thank you for the footage and allowing me to, to share this little clip with uh, the whole community. Um, huge ups to Tiramisu. Of course, Towerful will be back as well. Tiramisu. Um, Going to be following some of their action at the Spikeball Tour Series Championship, and of course, plenty more tournaments around Europe and the world. One small comparison I want to make here is Laura and Danny took the same number of serves in this entire series. They both served 23 times. They both made 15 serves. Laura only aced four times. Danny aced eight times compared to her. Thanks again to Tops for letting me use this footage for the recap. Hope to share more content with you all soon. Be sure to subscribe for more.